you may notice a problem. Um, I'm not Brendan Yuri. Before I start this video, I'm going to share with you three untold secrets. Number one, I film in a car because I have three roommates and even though they're super awesome and really supportive of what I do on YouTube, it's really hard to focus on talking to a camera when people are coming in and out of the house. So, but since I do always film in my car, maybe there's something I could do to jazz it up a little bit to fit the theme of the video. That's better. Secret number two. Wait, I didn't think of a secret for this one. Um, it's really hot in this car. Secret number three. As of Saturday, uh, March, March 31st, 2018, I have hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Oh my word, it's so crazy. Like it's been like less than a full year. That's insane. <laughs> but you know what that means? I will officially begin to produce and record floodlights from my Halsey video so that I can put it on Spotify and iTunes. But I really, really wanted to not just produce it and release it as it is because you guys, I wrote this song as a joke for my first ever YouTube video. It really sucks. It's still crazy to me that so many people want me to make this a real song that is on iTunes and Spotify. So I really want to rewrite the entire second verse. The lights are off in every room And we'll never turn them back on again Cause baby there's a devil in those brown eyes And I'm the only one who understands That doesn't even it was hilariously bad, and I don't want it to be that bad when it's released. So I want you guys' help. Please write the second verse of Floodlights for me. Also, the bridge maybe, some bridge ideas. But make sure that whatever you write, obviously, it's something that I can sing to the same tune and meter of the first verse. You guys can be part of the process if you're good enough. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Oh, I already have to pee. But now that that's settled, let's get into the actual video. I woke up this morning and thought that it would be a good day to be burned at the stake. So, I'm Julie, notice a lack of E. Today, I'm gonna try to write a Panic at the Disco song. <laughs> So I hope you like the decorations. I'll probably take them down because they're really annoying. I wanted to just decorate with pictures of Brit and Yuri's face, but I thought that'd be a little distracting for the writing process. <laughs> so, <laughs> shocker, I was never an emo kid. So I didn't necessarily grow up with Panic at the Disco. I remember listening to, I chimed in with the haven't you people ever heard of, closing the- That's a bad word! Well, anyway, Panic at the Disco has lived on so long that even if you didn't grow up as an emo kid, or even grow up in the era of 2000s emo culture, you can still love Panic at the Disco today because they're brilliant. Panic at the Disco has managed to maintain an audience through generations of pop culture by simultaneously staying somewhat emo with dramatic and intense ballads while also making songs that are catchy and fun and appealing to all different kinds of people. Also, Brendan Urie, who's just appealing t to everyone. I think Panic at the Disco is a great example of how good artists can move with the culture to stay relevant while also maintaining their original image and sound and staying authentic to their artistic individuality. And I think that that's why they've stayed on top for literally more than 10 years. All right, let's get into it. By the way, please don't burn me at the stake. I know that I told people to not stone me in my 21 Pilots video a lot because I know that they have like a very cult following. And I know that Panic! at the Disco has even more of a cult following because they've had a cult following for over 10 years. Nothing I say in this video is supposed to be offensive to Panic! at the Disco. I think they're really, really brilliant and Brendan Urie is and also a really good songwriter and vocalist. So if you disagree with some of my analysis, it's chill. And if I get some things wrong because I haven't grown up with them the way that some people have, I'm also very sorry. This song will be largely modeled after their recent two albums and their singles from their new album. Let's start with the song title. So with Panic! at the Disco's song titles, the majority of them go one way or another. The song title is either the punchline of the chorus, which is repeated multiple times throughout the song, or it's an abstract description 
of the meaning of the song that is almost nowhere said in the song whatsoever. Like you either have death of a bachelor or it's I write sins, not tragedies. So the idea that I had for my Panic! at the Disco song was a song called Divine Irony. Basically the idea is God has a sense of humor. The music or chords of Panic! at the Disco songs are usually a mixture of the music played in Tim Burton movies, Frank Sinatra, in My Chemical Romance. Basically the music is whatever makes you feel like a gentleman on Halloween. As for lyrics, I am amazed by the way that Brennan and Yuri can write these super super chunky deep poetic chunky deep lyrics it's literally just like an Edgar Allan Poe poem and then put it to this super fun iconic anthemic melody and it works in order to make the lyrics as poetic as they can possibly be I'm going to figure out the chords that I want to use and then I'm going to just write the lyrics without thinking of the melody and then just sing them and try to figure out a melody that sounds like Brendan Yuri would have thought of it. I don't want to compromise the poeticism of the lyrics for the fun and easy melody because Panic at the Disco doesn't do that. It has to be dark but it also has to be catchy and easy to follow. So my first point for lyrical content is religious themes about sin and repentance. Also just like cram all the lyrics in there, like make them like really fast. You prayed every waking hour. You begged on your knees. Roast something rosary beads, obviously. Your repentance a barter. Prayed every waking hour, you begged on your knees, your repentance a barter, pa paid in rosary beads. Good, good. Dramatic metaphors about pain. Bleeding out, failure cuts to the bone, expectations drown dreams. I want to say something about like Midas and like the thing about like gold. Want your touch to be gold. Ask for your touch to make gold. You may notice the problem. Um, I'm not Brendan Yuri. Not Brendan Yuri. Not Brendan Yuri. Not Brendan Yuri. And I definitely can't sing like Brendan Yuri, but I'm gonna try to like. A little, you know, just a little bit, like You prayed every waking hour, you begged on your knees Your repentance is a barter paid in rosary beads Failure cuts to the bone, expectations drown dreams Ask for your touch to be gold, but that's never what it seems I guess so, I'm gonna have like a little pre-chorus And now you're miserable, bull <laughs> Sleeping with your gold. Now you're sleeping with your silver. Now you're sleeping on your silver and it's cold as your soul. Now you're sleeping on your silver and it's cold as your soul. Your requests were all delivered. So darling, why so ungrateful? Then there's a break where there's either an edgy line that startles the listeners or an incredibly impressive note or riff that leaves you shook before the big theatrical chorus. Whoa! Anthemic chorus. This is what you wanted. Now you know dreams come true. This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. Now you know dreams come true. Uh, that's. Mm -hmm. Darling, don't you love it? Uh, darling, don't you love it? Darling, don't you love it? Getting what you thought would be best for you. Is it? <sighs> Stuck in a punchline. Another punchline. Got sense of humor. Isn't it funny? Best way to learn is to live it. Careful what you wish for. So honey, don't pray for what you wish for. Cause you might just get it. Every waking hour, you begged on your knees. Your repentance is a barter paid in rosary beads. Failure cuts to the bone, and expectations drown dreams. Ask for your touch to make gold, that's never what it seems. Now you're sleeping on your silver, and it's cold as your soul. Your requests were all delivered, so darling, why so ungrateful? Whoa!